All right, I'd like to present this video regarding Daniel 11, 40 to 45. Understanding Daniel 11, 40 to 45 is to understand the South and the North, the North and the South. And the North and the South is also the two horns of Lucifer, Satan, the devil. If, you, if we understand that, then we're going we're gonna to know exactly what is going on with the king of the north and the king of the south. So I'm going to begin here in Exodus 26.35. It says, And thou shalt set the table without the veil. The table is without the veil. And the candlestick. This veil is a, a veil, curtain, it's also a veil, V-E-I-L, that covered the face of Moses. When he came from Mount Sinai, his face was shining and glowing. And he put a veil on so as to not have the people worship him. Very wise. And the candlestick is over against the table. Like, this, 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 this. The wording is incredible, against the table. So the candlestick represents the spirit of God. It's the spirit of humanity that's in humanity. The light that God says it is to be in you. And it's against the table. The table is of the flesh and of the soul of humanity. So you are to take the, the table that's without the veil which means that it's in the holiest place. It's not in the holiest of holies. It's not where the Ark of the Covenant is. And the candlestick over against the table on the side of the tabernacle toward the south. So the candlestick is toward the south, and thou shalt put the table on the north side. So uh, if you've seen the videos regarding the four corners of the earth, it's just... Once again, this is what the Holy Spirit reveals. It's perfect in that the flesh is on the northeast, in the northeast corner. It's the north side. So now south is also where the earth is, the entire earth, the planet. And north is also uh, represents where heaven is. Heaven is north of the earth. Earth is south of heaven. That's found in the Psalms also. But in this application, okay, the devil is the, is the um, temporary god of this world. And so these, he also has his two horns ruling the world. And so if you look at the four corners of the earth, and if you were to put the horn of the devil in the four corners of the earth, the two horns, you would have uh, the... Uh, north horn here and the south horn here so it'd be like this here's a horn and here's a horn type of thing okay and so the south part is egypt this is egypt this is substance money this is where we get our three squares they call it you get your breakfast you get your lunch you get your supper you get up you go to work you make your money you go to the movies, you go to the theater, you know, you go to shopping, and you're living in the world, you're living in Egypt, it's comfort, right? Let's go back to Egypt, God's killing us here in the wilderness, right? At least we had food there, we had bread, we had water, and uh, we had a shelter, and we were doing really good there, and now you brought us into this wilderness, Moses, to kill us. This represents Tyre, the north side, which is military, the military, industrial military industrial complex of the nation. That's what that's what tired. That's what the north is. So you have peace and war. You have ying and yang or or ying yang, whatever it is. Both both sides are working back and forth that way. You got yes, you got no. You've got hot, you've got cold. You see. You have and this is being opposite of the ministry of God. So this is a this is a priest and this is a king. 
So you have a priest, and then you have King Nebuchadnezzar, right? The priest of Nebuchadnezzar, okay? And you had Joseph, and you had the Pharaoh, you had Daniel, you had King Nebuchadnezzar, and they were doing good work. Israel was prospering. Uh, the Pharaoh gave Joseph the run of, of the entire country. Daniel was the most highest exalted in the kingdom in his time. God set them up that way. And it was of God. And God was recognized throughout the entire land through the works of Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Daniel. And so we have the north and we have the south. And the, 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 the south and the north is in every individual in the world. This, this is, goes to every, every individual has this. Every nation, right down to the individual, has the candlestick and the showbread, which is the physical presence is the showbread, the spiritual is the candlestick. The Lord said, if the light in you be no part dark, then the light in you will be lit, fully lit, as a candle is fully lit, if there's no part dark. So you have the priests of Satan, you have the priests of God, you have the kings of Satan and the kings of God, and there's a lot of shape shifting going on. Now we're at the point where darkness has covered the earth, right? complete darkness. So that's the south and that's the north. That's what that is. So once again, the four corners of the earth is, once again, you have, if you go to Israel, once again, you'll see the, the altar, slaughter altar, soaked in sin, slaughter altar, judgment altar of God. And you have, the, they call it the quartet, and rightly so, it's called the quartet. I call it the four corners of the earth, as the scriptures call, uh, declare that uh, it is the altar of God, the four horns of the altar, and it is the four horses of the apocalypse, and the fourth horses of the fourth dimension. So you have the clay and you have the iron. Okay, you have the south is the clay, and the north is also the iron. But it's in a different scale. Okay. Earth is south, that's where humanity exists, and north, where the devil is from, and the universe, which is, if it's underneath heaven, it's north. And, and, and that's what the north represents as well. Okay, it's not, so um, you have the third and fourth generation, <clears throat> the clay and the iron. And this is also in humanity as well. Okay, so what happens is that humanity, they want to do evil through their own free will. Well, this is the candlestick and this is the uh, showbread of the world. And then the devil comes in, right? And the devil uh, magnifies and multiplies that. And they don't release the wicked. They actually help them. They, they, they make them sin. They make humanity sin. And then, they, and then they help humanity along with their agenda. They, they, they basically groom humanity that way. And one last thing is that um what was i going to say now is that um right the the north the north is mentioned uh, because it's from the north where the greatest destruction comes it's it's it is the north is the real true identity of what the of what the devil is going to do to humanity, so it's, that's and, and it's the strongest sword because it's the physical sword, and it's the strongest sword on earth because it's physical, right? It'll take your existence out of the, out of this world. The, the souls cannot kill souls, but but flesh can kill flesh, and so the north is always the greatest sword, okay? According to our existence here on earth. So here in Daniel 11, 40 to 45, we understand what is happening. What is the king of the south and the king of the north? So at that time of the end, shall the king of the south push at him? So the king of the south pushes at the king of the north, who, who shall come against him like a whirlwind, with chariots, with horsemen, and with many ships, and he shall enter into the countries, and shall overflow and pass over. So this is, every nation is capable of doing this. Okay? Now, we're looking at the north and the east, we're looking at the end time, 
how everything's going to implode, how it's going to work out. Okay, this is the king of the south is the king of North America, is the greatest example. Okay, Great Britain, Israel, Canada, Australia. Okay, those are mainly the king of the south. Okay, you have nations like Russia and China. They are from the from the north and east. If you have Israel here, the north and the east is right here, and so you have Russia and China. Okay, and right now, okay, North America cannot go and fight here; they'll lose. Okay, that's why China rose up because they America cannot go here and wage war anymore because China's military is too strong and the uh, military of and then combined with Russia and North Korea and uh, Iran Iran doesn't quite yet have a nuclear bomb but they're they're very close to getting it which are the Cubs and other countries the uh, the area here in the northeast is is now China is spreading with Taiwan. They're threatening Australia. Uh, they bought Solomon Islands. And they they're buying up. It's like a monopoly in here, monopoly board. China's buying it all up, and uh, we're seeing a weakening in the West. We're seeing an increase happening in the North and the East. So. This here is North America. They want to keep the New World Order. They're pushing at it. And it's good to push, by the way. The Gospel of Christ, right? That's what we need to push. The Holy Spirit showed me that so many times and very, very early uh, in my ministry where it's good to push. But we have to do it with the Gospel. That's how we get the favor of God. That's how we get the victory. We can't push through our own self-righteousness. North America wants to keep their status. North America is working alongside uh, their allies and uh, working to keep themselves through, nat through natural selection as the number one world superpower. But once again, we have, we have China now that has risen uh, as the next, as a alpha male nation. The other, the next alpha, alpha male nation, I guess, that was to rise up. So we have two alpha male nations now. And once again, China is out, and they are, they are here. The king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind. This is Russia, and this is China. They've already planned their devices against them. Okay, in Daniel chapter 40, 25, I didn't have it. Oh, no, it's here. This is the whole chapter. So we can go to Daniel uh, 11, 25, and you see here. Daniel 11.25, he shall stir up his power and his courage against the king of the south with a great army, and the king of the south shall be stirred up to battle with a very great army and mighty army, great mighty, mighty army, but he shall not stand, for they shall forecast devices, they're going to set plans against him. And that's what's happening right now in Ukraine. They already have those plans drawn out, already done. And so they're positioning themselves, they're waiting for a good excuse, and they're testing the waters, seeing what North America is going to do. And it's a heck of a plan because they're all obliv oblivious to, to uh, the fact that they are planning those devices against the coastlands. Okay? So it's also in the coastlands reports regarding the last video. There's two reports called the coastlands regarding uh, what's happening there. And the coastlands is also here in 45. Now, uh, so this, that's what's happening. And it's prophesied here that the north and the east will come against him like a whirlwind with chariots and with horsemen and many ships. And he shall enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass over. So this speaks regarding the king of the north. And this was like Antiochus of Epiphanes. You know, he's a, he was a Reich, sort of a Reich. He, a little horn he went into, and he put the offering on the altar. 
uh, there in the times of the Maccabees and all the other times. So the king of the south and the king of the north, they both go into Israel. They both, both of them invade. They both invade. Here in verse 41, he shall also so in Daniel 11, 40 to 45, the two horns is the king of the south and the north are in one individual in every nation and peoples. He refers to the sons of Satan and, and Satan, the son of Satan himself all in various degrees. The Holy Spirit revealed that to me many years ago uh, when I first began doing the ministry. It was in 2007, 2006, 2007 that was revealed. And he is the, uh, the king of Assyria. And ultimately, this is the son of Satan. So the first report I ever wrote was in uh, 2009, I think it was, when I first wrote the report regarding that. So this here says, He shall enter into the glorious land, many countries shall be overthrown, but these shall escape out of his hand, even Edom and Moab. So Edom is the soul, Moab is the flesh. The chief of the children of Ammon is the spirits of the giants. It's also the spirits of humanity. And that's why they escape because they're in league together. He shall enter into the glorious land, and many countries shall be overthrown, but these shall escape out of his hand, even Edom and Moab and the chief children of Ammon. He shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. So this is when Egypt is swallowed up, completely swallowed up. And this is when those, the days of great physical tribulation begin. The darkness comes right in the land. And only the Holy Spirit is able to set us to do the work. Man will not be able to do the work. So that's why we need to be walking in the Spirit to have the Spirit help us. We have to get ready now to be worthy of receiving as much help as possible from the Holy Spirit. And it says, but he shall have power, so he once again is the son of Satan, shall have power over the treasures of gold and of silver and over all the precious things of Egypt. If not, they would have never rose up. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and of silver and over the precious things of Egypt, and the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. And, and so this, this, this is like the north, and it will be the false priests, the south. Okay, once again, you have the candlestick and you have the, the kings. And, um, and they'll be at his steps. Because these are the ones that are not of God. So it's not like all Ethiopians. Ethiopia and Libyan is a code word. They're code words. It's, it, it represents the entire world. They're the Libyans that are of God and the Ethiopians of God. And they're the Libyans and the Ethiopians that are not of God. They, they reject God. Some do and some don't. Right? Every nation. In verse 44 it says, But tidings of the east and of the north shall trouble him. This is Russia and China. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy, and utterly to make away many. So tidings from the north, once again, which is Russia, uh, North Korea, the Cubs are, and it's Russia and the east is China. The Cubs are like, are nations like North Korea, Iran, those are the Cubs. Shall trouble him. So you have a new world order of the East and a new world order of the West. And what, what the devil does, he, he, he places them against each other. It's the devil that is working iniquity in humanity. This here is, has to go, the devil has to go through humanity. To do it. He gets humanity to do it. Okay, yeah, it has to be done through the covenant in order to su successfully war against God. So the tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. The south part of the earth is Egypt, once again, troubled by the north part of the earth, which is Tyre, which is the military complex. And again, Egypt is um, substance and money. And once again, Daniel eleven twenty five, 25, where the plans are devised against Egypt and it's China's just buying it all up you know, I don't, it's, they, they, 
they say that China owns California. Like, how can it possibly happen? They're selling out to China. So China, they put their money invested in, in, in different ways. But, um, I mean, they, they're, um, they've gotten to that point now where they're saying that their military is larger. And, uh, I mean, they between them all, they have enough nuclear power to stop to win a war. I mean, how many nuclear missiles do you need? You can only fire so many at once. So tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly to make away many. So once again, you have the, the north and the south in the nations, in all people. It is from the east and the north in Jeremiah says where the, the, the king of Babylon, his, his hands gripped him as a woman in travail. He heard the report about them. It's, that's referring to this. It's a Daniel 50 or 51, I think it's verse 43. So they're working to gain their, uh, their position, to, to hold on to their position. And they're, they do it through causing causing great destruction to make to make away many so the king from the land of Egypt but he shall have power over the treasures of gold and of silver and over all the precious things of Egypt and the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps the tidings of the east and the north shall trouble him therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and to utterly make away many. He's wanting, this is the king of the south here now. Okay, he says, but he shall have power over treasures of gold and of silver and over all the precious things of Egypt and the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. So this is the, the, the south horn of the devil, right? And this is how they gain control over the population of Egypt through the candlestick and the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at by steps so here we have the Libyans which is north the Ethiopians is south you got the candlestick here and you got the uh, the showbread here the kings and the priests and now this this is just code words right the Libyans right and the Ethiopians these ones are not of God but there are Libyans and Ethiopians that are of God. And this represents the whole world. So those that are in league will be at his steps. But tidings out of the east and the north, Russia and China, shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly to make away many. So this is how they continue, you know, in their quest to maintain that, that they have uh, the vision, been given the vision to do. The devil is controlling all of this. Okay, he's using humanity because humanity is the covenant and humanity is where the devil has to go through in order to wage a successful war against God. And verse 45 says, He shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain. This is the coastlands. These are the tabernacles of his palace. Okay, this is, you know, you can call it the church of Satan. And he shall place them between the seas, which is the fourth dimension, right? It comes out of the sea. The four beasts come out of the sea. And and, and so the devils are, are behind them, I guess you would say. And he will place his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain also. And yet he shall come to his end and none shall help him. So they're in between the sea and they're in between the glorious mountain of God. And so it's a democratic vote. It's presented to God. Satan is saying, give up God. 
right? And the COVID policies, procedures, and protocol is playing an absolutely, this is, it, that's what it's doing. It is finalizing all of this, okay? I was out preaching just yesterday, and I heard twice people say, well, it's the new world now. They're ready to transcend. It's the policies, procedures, and protocols. The not believing in God is what is what is really hurting the people. The policies, procedures, and protocols of of the devil that that uh, is uh, leading and guiding the policies, procedures, and so so what's happening is that it's like they're taking down Egypt there and, and causing and just because they're not letting the people go free they're not going to stop their resolve they're going to keep on doing what they're doing and you know there's two world, new world orders one of the one of the one of the west and one of the and one of the east and so the devil through all the procedures policies and protocols he plans the tabernacles of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain yet he shall come to his end and none shall help him this is the son of satan this is in isaiah 14. no one's going to help him he's going to be desolate he's going to be uh and in ezekiel 28 he, he will be um, actually mocked at is they'll say of him is you know is this the one who wouldn't let his captives go free so you can read that in Isaiah chapter 14 so um, and it says how how art thou fallen from heaven O loose for son of the morning how art thou down cast down to the ground which dost weaken the nations for that was said in thine heart I will ascend in heaven I will I will exalt my throne so his throne here's the throne he shall place his plant the tabernacles of his palace this is his throne, his palace, it's his tabernacles. These are people, right, between the seas and the glorious holy mountain. So, yeah, you shall be brought down in the pit. They that see you shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake the kingdoms? This is the son of Satan, the great millstone. And this is regarding the sons of Satan that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners. The Holy Spirit's revealing, and that's why he's revealed this. It's been years now, and I've been going over this and making sure and just testing it all. And we're seeing this happening in the news. We're seeing it rising up, and the Holy Spirit showed me at the very beginning of the ministry, uh, it is the dragon that's going to come up last. And when the dragon rises, the dragon nation, which is China, then the end will come. We're seeing it happen, and as the Holy Spirit has been just putting in my heart all the time, it's we're at the end. It's time to seek the Lord. It's time to forsake the world. It's time for excommunication from the world. It's time to get into the Proverbs. It's time to study. It's time to meditate. It's time to pray. It's time to get ourselves in a secret place in the Most High God. Everything we have. It's time to just take all of, to, to start following all the precepts and testimonies of God and, 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 and have our ways, all our ways open before Him. It is time to ask God to search our hearts and to test all of our thoughts, to know all of our thoughts, to see if there's any wickedness in us, that He'd lead us in the way of everlasting. It's time right now uh, to come to full bloom in the favor of God, with the favor of God, a pleasant offering. It's time to go to the pool of scent and get some eye salve so that we can completely clearly see the times and the emergency that we're in right now, the need to be with God, to be safe in the secret place of the Most High God. So here in verse 44, 
but tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly to make away many. So this can be very well speaking regarding a civilian uprising that we're seeing. The north and the east represents the flesh and represents the east scorching wind. That's what it represents. And the east scorching wind represents many false gods fragmenting the human body. And the north represents the flesh. So what do we have going on right now? We have the kings of the earth being threatened by civilian uprising. If you look at all the uprisings in the world, it's always about governments. And the governments hold strong. They never give up. They never surrender their stance or their position. They have the military on their side. They know. But look at what happened in the gospel. What did they say? Jesus said, John the Baptist, his, his, his ministry, was it from God or was it from man? They said, well, if we say from God, the, the people say, well, why didn't you believe us? He'll say, why didn't you believe it? If we say that it was from man, all the people, they believe that he was a prophet and they'll stone us. It says in the gospel, they're afraid of the people that they might be stoned. That they would be stoned, they're, they're afraid. And so they're losing control of the situation. They're losing control through it all. And so what we have here, we have the policies, procedures, and protocols that is destroying the people. It's destroying the people. It, we're looking at transhumanism. We're looking at the, once again, when I was out ministering twice, I had people tell me, they said, they said that this is a new world. The people are ready to transcend it right now. We're at, their, we're at the ends of the earth, and then he takes them, and this is in Revelation chapter uh, 13, 11, where yeah, they have two horns like a lamb, they speak like a lion, like a, like a dragon, and, they, and those are his, once again, his palatial tents that the devil uses. As a, to cast a democratic vote in order to get the people to to, to weaken God. And that's what the devil wants. He's after souls. That's what he's after. And so this is why they're bringing it all down. They're bringing it all to a close. Because they're losing control. The east and the north. They're losing control. I mean, America is a policing nation for Europe. America, they received, uh, they received, they went to Europe, and I mean, they, they, they've received backing, financial backing from Europe, and they're supposed to be the ones policing and enforcing and, and uh, helping Europe, and Europe uses them, and it's, it really comes from Rome, the Vatican, and, and from uh, the, the other nations in, in Europe. That's how they were set up. They have to be the world. That's why they have so many military bases. That's why they're, they're, they're there. But, but it's like Joseph in Egypt. He was the prime minister. And North America is to be the prime minister for all Christianity throughout the world. And now what's happening, once again, a great horn is being broken off. And it's going to be completely broken off in nuclear war. But it's, like spiritually, it's already broken off pretty much already completely broken off. So that's what the Holy Spirit has put in my heart and uh, to share this because this is end time prophecy and this is what's happening. So I just wanted to add now here we have the north and the east. The north once again represents the flesh. The north of humanity. The east represents the scorching wind of many false gods. And so that's what is causing the system to want to annihilate many. It says here in 
chapter 14 once again, the uh, No Physical Kingdom Dominion verse. And those, in, in those times shall many stand up against the king of the south, also the robbers of thy people shall exalt themselves to establish division, but they shall fall. So the king of the south is, once again, is the light of Lucifer. And so they want to sit down and they want to make their, their, their people who genuinely, you know, want to work things out. But the kings of the earth are not willing to sit with them. And so this is what, these are many people, they stand up against the king of the south. You see, and uh, what happens is that when the military complex moves in, they're removed and what it is once again is that it's a false vision of kingdom dominion uh, they want to you know we see what's happening with the trucker convoy it's just not understanding the end times that god is closing the age right now the next exodus is in heaven we're not going to get it back so this is here is the tidings out of the east and the north that troubles him the king of the south. Okay, so it will trouble the, the king of the south. As, as far as the, the military is concerned, they know they can easily wipe them out. And once again, these tabernacles are the coastlands. These are the coastlands. These are the coastlands, the tabernacles of the ones that he's deceived in Revelation 11, um, 13, 11. Two horns like a lamb, they speak like a dragon. They, they're the coastlands. They get placed in between the seas and the kingdom of God, the city of God, Zion, in heaven. And they're going to make that, they want to uh, weaken God, they want to try and overtake God. And it's all about souls once again. So that's it for this video. God bless you all. Amen. And amen.